Hi, I am MJ Ferdos with you in the second lesson of SharePoint list. I am engaged with uh, SharePoint development as I said before. Uh, I am also responsible for SharePoint uh, architectural setup, for example, uh, uh, making a production environment and also development environment and so on. Anyway, now I will. Uh, show you how to customize the list edit form or new form using SharePoint Designer 2007 here is our uh, workspace and uh, you can see the previous list now I will create a new list to customize the edit or new page it is little bit tricky to create this so let's see how to do that create uh, let's say I will create a new list custom form list and here you have a new item with uh, this field as before for example in the new form we want to hide uh, this two field and uh, in the edit form you we will make a different edit form instead of the existing one and do some customization okay I was uh, previously open uh, this side uh, this um, from the SharePoint designer so here we should have uh, our custom list and you can see there are list of spx space and first we will customize the new form dot spx we can uh, check out the space and open this one in the editor and you will see here only the control of uh, custom form list it is a list from web part which is a uh, built-in web part of uh, list list uh, control and you cannot edit anything inside this web part because it doesn't allow to do that and it is strictly bind or you can say strongly bind with the list so how to edit this one we will see you have to create another SharePoint custom list form where you can find the field and you can do some your customization for let's see how to do that here you have to select your uh, list from the combo box and uh, you have to define the type and since it is a uh, the form uh, new form type so it is already selected so you can keep it like this and okay okay here if we hide uh, this little bit we can see the all the field that you have seen from the browser so now I can uh, select this and I can hide how, what I want uh, what I I can show what if we want and so on for example I will hide this two field how to do that you have to go to the code for example if we go to the source code maybe if I hide this uh, TR table row then the whole row will be hidden for example if I said display none you can also hide uh, from the visual toolbox but there is some problem to hide the row you can hide only the field you can make read only or something like this okay now if I try to save there should be some warning 